Shut up and sit down. Hello folks, Colin here, Vesta 67's workshop, and welcome to issue number four of Build the Batmobile from the classic 1966 TV series Batman. Now, if you'd like to grab one of these for yourselves, head over to the website just by hitting up this link all the way along there. Pop. And take out your very, very own subscription for this iconic, iconic TV series motor. I don't think you'd be disappointed. And you get to build along with us. And yeah, you can make Batman noises, Batmobile noises, but also you can end up with a beautiful 1.8 scale model on your bench. So yes, well worth doing it. Just look at it. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Now we've got a nice simple issue today. Uh, the penguins are jinx, it says in here from the TV show section. The aristocratic art criminal uses technical trickery to uh, torment the citizens of Gotham for his own nefarious ends. Yes, folks, a menacing character was the penguin. Really was. So yeah, and don't forget to give these a read, folks. There's all the different pranks and things that went on. Uh, penguin Aelia. In the penguin's lair, a mechanised birds are everywhere. A model penguin is the lever to open the secret elevator to the umbrella shop. A squawking penguin is used to relay coded messages to his henchmen. And a small penguin slides out of an igloo to speak the time. They're everywhere. All these little things going on in the background. And there's a lot of things that these magazines are telling you about the TV show that when you actually go and watch a few episodes, you pick up all these little snippets that you had missed. This is uh, more about the Batman comics. Uh, Heart of Darkness. Atmospheric artwork was provided by Dave uh, Mazzucelli, who had worked with Miller on the critically acclaimed Daredevil, Born Again, the previous year. The artist's tough and noir sensibility took the reader into Gotham's dark heart. Exactly, folks. Always seemed a very dark place, very scary environment. I think they captured it brilliantly. Some more there, Batman year by year. More information there on all the gadgetry, the vehicles, etc. Uh, the Silver Dollar, Two-Face's trademark device. Yes, this was the appearance of Two-Face. This is your car parts that you've got in this issue. It's a nice, simple one, this one. Uh, not a massive amount to do, but there is an important tip that I'm going to give you on this. Uh, you've got your screens on this issue, folks, and you've got some left and right support brackets. That's all we're up to. But the key with this is your screens arrive in a plastic jelly pack, okay? Now, I can't recommend enough for you to keep this. Purely and simply, because once these are on, rather than put this in a box and risk scratching the surfaces, put it back in this. Even if you end up trimming it right the way around the edges, just to shrink it down a bit. Keep it in this, because this is going to be a lifesaver. It's far easier to scratch this piece of plastic than it is the actual screens. So bear that in mind, folks. So keep your packaging. What we're going to be doing there is fitting a left and a right windshield support in this issue, folks. So it is really, really simple. And again, it tells you here, protect your windshield, folks. It really is, is important for you. And then the end result literally is going to be your screens, but just with these two brackets on, folks, OK? So it's nice and simple, but again, just protect, protect your investment, folks. So we'll grab them out of there. And then we'll pop those little brackets on. OK. There you go. Don't slide down. So we'll grab that one. And we'll grab that one. There you go. Let's get me a little gripper out. There you go. And then we'll get the screens. Just like so. Okay, so I've got the 
packaging just to one side. And then we want these brackets, they're handed left and right. And you'll see where they go by these little marks, okay? So it's telling you to have it with these legs facing down the way like so, okay? And they go across this little gap here. They bridge this and pinch this together, folks, okay? So they're quite a, a resistance fit. So you want to put one in there like that. Again, make sure the pins are lining up. You'll feel them line up and go into place. And you get a nice resounding click. Bing, just like that, okay? Spin it around the other side and do the same again, okay? Try not to damage the screens. It really, honestly, I'm so nervous sitting here. But yeah, because if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be me, isn't it? Line the pegs up and then just press it home. And that's what you're going to end up with, literally, pretty much what you've got out of the box, but just with these little supports in place, okay? And then quickly grab your packaging back and put your screens away. Can't emphasize that enough to you. That is now safe. I'm going to leave my sides on purely and simply because if something were to lean on it, it's very substantial, isn't it? Okay, folks. So that's what you're going to end up with at the end of this. Your screen with your brackets on. Now, you can choose not to assemble this totally. It's entirely up to you. But that's what you'll end up with, folks. And then you keep this in the box, all your other goodies, until you then fit this to the vehicle towards the end of the build. Okay? So, in the meantime, if you would like to grab this for yourself and start building this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful part, right? click this link just here and start your own subscription, folks. You really, really, really won't be disappointed. I mean, look at the size of that. That is just the screens of the vehicle. And that is a hand. It's, it's a big vehicle, isn't it? Let's be honest. So, yeah. Go and grab on, folks. In the meantime, stay safe and stay well. And I look forward to seeing you in the next issue, folks. Bye-bye for now. Bye. Thank you.